Hello my lovely Trails fans and welcome to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Alrighty, so we are gonna finish up with the rest of our NPC dialogues. So we need to head on over to the east quarter of Grand Soul if I can get there without getting lost. Go down here. I believe we already spoke to that woman, so she should be good. It seems like the Royal Guard and some braces solved last night's case. If the army and guild cooperate, we've got nothing to fear. I'm sorry. Want to go get some ice cream over there together? <laughs> I did good and watched over the house while you were gone. I wasn't lonely or anything. Today's finally the last day of this fun trip. From tomorrow on, it's back to work as a housewife again. Last night, it seems something really crazy happened. All my customers have been talking about the harbour incident non-stop. Thanks to that, I've become pretty familiar with the case. What, seriously? But you know that Duke. Don't you think he's a little cute? Ugh. Seems like that super lame Duke's come back to the capital. I can't believe she actually thinks the Duke is cute. That's sick. It's true that lately there's not been much to talk about, and that was sad, but I wish they'd spare us stuff like last night. I want some really, really big topic that'll get everyone talking. It seems like the intelligence division did something crazy again. I'm just extremely relieved that there were no f fatalities among the citizenry. Oh, Anton disappeared. Seems like some kind of incident happened. I wonder what exactly. Where's that girl that usually walks around? Here she is. I've thought long and hard about it, and you know what? I need to cultivate my inner beauty to meet a wonderful man. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could both bring out the best of each other? Now, which way is the landing port? Wasn't there an older gentleman that walks around as well? Here he is. So the intelligence division caused an incident like that. I suppose it could be considered more fruits of the Colonel Richard's treason. One way or another, a military solution isn't a good one. The Empire's got a sense of danger around it, but that's charming too. I'd love to go someday. Olivier, would you like to enter the embassy? Would you mind? Please pass through. Now, now, Olivia, don't get in the way of work. As you have no doubt noticed, the ambassador insists we keep this place neat and tidy. Libellians are given the right to freedom of speech unlike the Empire. Restrictions are fairly stringent in the Empire. Published materials are especially scrutinised. My job involves making sure it's all appropriate for public consumption. I've got to check whether published works are suitable for our nation as whole, if they break any laws and all that stuff. During our conflicts with the independent state, the Chancellor's command was incredible. To assemble a military force spread across such an enormous space temporarily at the borders with the Orbal Railroad, claim victory with a shock attack, then return the forces as quickly as possible to the defensive positions. This is what the Orbal Railroad is for, huh? <laughs> Our fatherland has no weaknesses now. Queen Alicia is most likely more relieved than anyone that the criminal turned out to be a former member of the Royal Guard. I realise that might be callous, but think about it. Had the criminal turned out to be a Republican citizen, do you think the Empire would have stayed quiet? And the opposite is surely true as well. It would have put a great strain on the non-aggression pack. Hmm. Good day, Olivia. And to you as well, Braces. Good day, Ambassador. Her bumming around as usual, I see. 
I should hope you're not using Mueller's absence as an excuse to run wild. Tut tut, and you're far too serious as usual. What do you need today? I've already received a report about the letter. Oh really? Yes, I was told it was written by those special ops criminals. All completely unrelated to the Empire as I'd insisted before. Well, I wouldn't say completely. Uh, telling him the truth would only make him more nervous. Allow me to express my earnest gratitude for your efforts. Thanks to your efforts, a false suspicion hanging upon my fatherland has been cleared. Minuscule as it was, even a single blight upon the Empire's dignity brings me great displeasure. How odd. We haven't received our routine report from Mueller and Bose. Oh. Guess that's a little bit of foreshadowing for us. I wonder if we're going to need a Zin to get into the other place. There's no way we can deal with a giant archaism like that. If it attacked next time, we wouldn't last a moment. That stuff at the harbour was terrible, huh? The culprit, Canone, she's that woman who was always stru stuck to Colonel Richard, right? She always did have a sneaky face after all. I was shocked at yesterday's incident, but Julia returned. It seems like Colonel Sid called her back, but what perfect timing. I heard a rumour that the one behind all that mess was a tiny kid. There's no way that could be true, right? Apparently they caught the remnants of the Special Ops guys hiding out at the harbour. It's a relief to have one worry out of the way before the signing ceremony. Let's go grab Zin and we can probably go in there. Go for Zin, Zin, would you like to go into the embassy? Yeah, I would. Please pass through. If you're looking for Ambassador Cochrane, she's out inspecting the Royal Villa. After all, it is the site of the signing ceremony. Seems like these intelligence division folk were behind one of the recent incidents. Well, I doubt it will affect the signing ceremony. I can appreciate Queen Alicia's feelings on the matter. The ambassador does not hesitate to voice her dislike of Erebonia, but those feelings come from somewhere else. I know quite well. Is locked. Okay, guess we're done there. Let's just go quickly switch Olivia back out again. I won't go so far as saying it's genius. Let's head on over to the mall. My house is in the west block, so I heard crazy loud noises from the harbour. Even I was shocked to hear it was an intelligence division tank, though. I'm glad my house wasn't crushed by something like that. Colonel Richard was very popular with the citizenry. I can understand why the folks in the intelligence division would be willing to do anything for him. But come on, no tanks? Seriously? Last night I saw some of the Royal Guard running off to the west block. I also heard what sounded like a big cannon from the port. I wonder what that was about. It was k kind of violent sounding. The town's kind of noisy. Did something happen? Lately I've been so busy with my family that I haven't paid much attention to current events. My sister apparently went off to Bose to study in order to open her own shop. At this rate she might quit the department store, she said. Sis, please don't leave me behind. I'm lonely.
Today's all been talk about that crazy incident ever since the morning. I'm glad they captured the rest of the intelligence division before the signing ceremony. Okay, looks like we don't have a new issue of the Labelle News to read. The Empire's got a sense of danger around it, but that's charming too. I'd love to go someday. Please, just yesterday wasn't enough time to get a real look at it. Apparently this guy is determined to visit the History Museum. Since we're on vacation, I want to go somewhere else today. Um, did you find the young lady you were looking for? I yeah. Don't worry, we found her. I see. That's good to hear. When I heard about the incident late last night, I was worried about the young lady. I'm very relieved you found her. There were still dragons alive during the Zumerian Age. Now that I think about it, I read a report from a person researching the ancient dragons. I believe they lived in bows. Please tell me that's some foreshadowing to see a dragon in this game. That'd be awesome. Woohoo! The History Museum is willing to hire me. To me, it's like getting paid to treasure hunt. I feel so happy I could just dance. I've had a request from Jimmy. Apparently, he wants to become a curator. He has no experience, but given his history, he has a very unique and interesting perspective. I imagine it will take some time, but he is promising, so I think I'll employ him. The devices and artifacts in each tower. There's a mountain of things I'd like to investigate, so I need him to work hard. Guess that's everybody here, so we've just got our final destination. Of the landing port. Oh, is this Anton? Yeah, if you're a real man, you have to open your own road. The time to set forth has come. <laughs> it's never boring with Anton. I finally found what I want to do. That's why I plan on going to Bose to study. Yeah, I promise. Listen, you have to be good and keep quiet. What is going on there? The new engine's capabilities are really something, but it looks like we'll still need to do multiple flight tests to gather data. We've also got to think of tuning the machine to make the most out of its output. I'd like to get Professor Russell's opinion at some point. Oh, did that photographer disappear again and didn't get a chance to take a photo? That'd be just sad if he didn't. The final overall check is the job of the chief engineer, isn't it? More to the point, why are you talking to me like I'm in charge here? Really, why is it always like this? Uh, no problems at all in the engine section. I finished tuning the orbital pressure. Is is that everything then? Yeah, I, don't see, I don't see that photographer, dude, so it looks like he might have disappeared. I'm sure... It sure had my heart racing when those intelligence division guys appeared. If order is disrupted, it can make the tourism drop like a rock after all. I'm glad they were all caught. Uh, I couldn't find any good wife candidates for my son ultimately. How terribly frustrating. Hearing about the intelligence division always puts me on edge. Thanks to them, our company and I suffered severe damages. The Lynn just left port a bit ago. Next will be the westbound Cecilia coming into port. Welcome! You're the party of braces heading for Bose, correct? Yes, that's right. Very good. We've received your fare from Elman. Are you ready to check in? As usual, we should wait here once we check in. Got anything left to do around town? All done. Very well. I will contact the guild branch and call the rest of your party. The sales group began to wait for the next passenger ship. The 
so make sure you've uh, done that Royal Avenue monster and turned it in before you come here. Thank adios, we made it in time. Oh, look who it is. Huh? Niall? I'm Dorothy? Estelle? Ew, thought we'd missed you. We stopped by the guild, but they said you'd left already. Glad we managed to catch you before your flight. Um, what's wrong? I thought we told you everything about the case last night. It ain't that. We've got something to tell you personally. You mind speaking with us, uh, alone like? Me? Uh, Shara? Go ahead, Estelle. Hear them out. I'll be sure to save you a seat. Thanks, Shara. Good day then, now, Dorothy. Bye bye. Okay, so what's this all about? What's so. Uh, Olivia, why are you still here? Ah, think of me as a stone in the pavement, a butterfly gracing the wind. Please speak freely, pay me no mind. I swear. That's one hell of a talkative stone. I thought this might be the case when I didn't see him bored. Eh? Uh, sure, just a... Let's get you to your seat, my dear Lenheim. He's the same as always, then. <laughs> pretty much. Um... Dorothy, you look kind of out of it, even more so than usual, I mean. What's wrong? I thought you were off taking photos and bows. Yeah, I, um, just got back this morning. Um, Estelle... Wait, I remember. You were off at the old fort in the Misty Valley. The one they're using as a military train. Wait, isn't that... Finally twigged to it, huh? That's the base the bandits raided last night. Dorothy here was literally on the scene when those thugs took their ship back. Oh man, okay. So you came out here to tell us what happened? Aw, thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, to tell you what happened, you might say that. Huh? Hell with it. It's a thousand words or a picture. Dorothy, hand it over. Y yes sir. Um, Estelle? Don't go crazy about this, okay? Pictures don't always tell the whole truth, forever, or something. Or did I just insult Miss, um... What's all this about? Why do you look so serious? I, um, took this picture. Dorothy handed Estelle a single photograph. Oh, Joshua. Um, let's see. I recognize Miss Tomboy, the bandit over there. And that would be... What? I'm holding off and giving this photo to the army for the moment. I won't run it in the paper either. I'll let you deal with it how you want. Oh, He's getting in trouble. Well, that's the end of chapter three, the Mad Tea Party. So next episode, we'll go ahead and get started in chapter four. But for now, this is a bit of a shorter episode, um, unfortunately, but I hope you have enjoyed the series so far and the end of chapter three. So I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye for now.